Hi everyone. Today I will talk about uh, Hurricane software. It is a two-dimensional limit equilibrium uh, method software. So you can estimate the factor of safety and uh, evaluate the stability uh, of slopes. It is free to public the software and you can go to this link and download it. It has tutorial. And the software interface can be in seven or eight different languages. The default is English, and there is two versions of the software. One, you can install it in your computer, and the second one is basically you can download the EXE and use the software without installing it in your computer. Okay. Uh, so let's go through the software. First, I'm going to use this example from uh, the manual of slide two from Rock Science. So they estimate the slope that is appears in the screen. And they estimate the factor of safety uh, about 1.142 using the Bishop, Bishop method. The property of the material is uh, unit weight 19 kilonewton per cubic meter, cohesion is 5, friction angle is 30. So let's start the software. This is the software, this is how it looks like. So it's very similar to slide 2 actually. So if you want to start the, in the first step, which is defining the geometry, you can go to um, here. Click on geometry, then external geometry. You will see that this is active now, so you can type your vertices or coordinates. So we have the model almost completed. You're just going to close it. Now we have the model. I don't like the search limit, so I need to adjust them a little bit. So I go to define slope limit. I'm going to make this, this one goes to the right. So make it 50 and make this goes to uh, left, apply. This looks fine to me. If you want to modify the property, so as you can see the property, the model took the first material property, which is the blue one here, and assign it to the model. You can change the name here, for example. And you can change the unit weight to 19 kilonewton per cubic meter. Cohesion, let's make it five kilopascal. And friction angle, uh, let's keep it as it is, okay. We don't have water table for now, so it's dry model. I'm going to apply it. So we define the geometry, we define the search limit, we define the property of the material. Let's make sure the methods of analysis. So go to the, um, you can go to this icon here, project, set, project settings, or you can go to analysis project settings. You can control the units, you can control the languages here. So eight languages, you can change the software interface. Let's keep it to English and from right to left. And then here in the second tab, you can select which method you want. Let's select all and um, let's make it 50 slices. And this is actually estimating the slip surface using the circular circular search type. So it's going to be circular auto refine search method. Once you uh, define all the inputs, you can go to um, this icon here, compute. It's going to take a few seconds, it's not complicated. And then you should be able to see the factor of safety. As you remember, 
uh, we got 1.142 from slide two from rock science software. Let's see if the methods or the factor of safety are the same here. So here the, we got the message, the computation is done. Do you want to open? Yes. So we now in the second tab, this is the model tab. This is the results tab. And you see the factor of safety is exactly uh, the same as um, the slide method. If we go down here, this is 1.142 using the same uh, method, Bishop. So this is Bishop method. If you want to show the factor of safety in a different method, we go here and for example, Morgan Stern price, you can click in it and we see it's a little bit less, basically the same. Uh, Jumbo, simplified, it's much less. And Spencer, it's basically the same. So the slip surface also looks, looks different. So this is basically free software i think it's a great tool you can only you can you can only um, run um, limit equilibrium on it to estimate the factor of safety in a static way but you can also um, run pseudo static analysis by assigning uh, horizontal seismic coefficients this is also a great tool i think you can assign different material here you can even use um, support piles or cell, tail, uh, cell nails or cell support. And this is all for free. This is we can uh, define boundary for the model. For example, if we want to add another geology like this, you can just add it here. And add another line here. So now we have we define another geology, but we need to assign that assign a new material to this. Let's see. So here, this is material two. Let's call it um, thin clay. We have three soil consecutive models: more column, Hox Brown, and Chancel. Um, make it um, 15, 5, 18, apply. And now we define, um, we defined the material property, but we still need to assign it. So you go here and then click on assign property. This is the material that we defined. You click it here and that's it. Let's recompute. I'm just showing you the features of the features of the software, some of the few main features. And you can see here the all the material property that you assigned with the constitutive models, the methods you used here. The summary. This look. This reminds me of Flack. And uh, the the interface in general actually looks like slide from Rock Science. If you click on yes, now you have. Let's uh, change the method. So it doesn't look good because um, I believe because the uh, the slip surface is very shallow and that's why it looks weird and very um, with very uh, low factor of safety, but I'm not sure if we can assign a depth to uh, the slip surface and slide and other software we can do that. But here I don't think we can do. Yeah, this is one of this advantage. We cannot assign filters to the slip surface to go deep, deeper in, in, into the model. So so yeah, and as I said, there is a good tutorial here. You can go and um, check it and see. You can even use Python to drive it. 
let's go to, I can see here Python icon here uh, so if we go to the first one which is this you can see here uh, step by step example so they have three types of materials they assign it they define the search limit and they got the factor of safety and they actually compare it to two different software so this is the software that we are using this is the software I used slide two so the numbers are very similar but still it has some limitations hopefully they can um, fix that in the uh, future versions here are so they provide uh, uh, Python script which is I think it's very good so we click on new Um, yeah I need to take a look deeper on the script and how it works but yeah that's uh, that's it for today thank you so much for watching